All right. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the Morpha Project. Uh, today, um, uh, we're gonna be fixing this bad boy right here, and then that would be able to fix everything, right? Yeah, that would be the idea, at least. Um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna be doing that. So we're gonna be fixing this bad boy so that we can use it for our own cause. And I should definitely clean this up. Jeez Louise. <laughs> so much, uh, so much in there. So yeah, the idea is that we're gonna fix this bit. So we're gonna put this onto a small layer and then we're gonna add the uh, bits to it, I believe, right? Yeah. So we have this bit, bit right here. And then now we're gonna add that part to it so that we can then draw under it. Um, so we need to find out where that is. That is this bit. Yeah, this bit. So we're gonna be working on this. So we're gonna move one bit above it and then we're gonna fuse them together once we're done with the full damn picture. So we have all of it on one layer, which will fix a lot of problems and that would be fixing us most of it. Um... All right. This one I need, and then I need to have these two out of there. Yep, because this will fix me a lot of issues that I have right here. Then we also need to get this one, and then we can finally start once I have inside the column. There you go. All right, so today we're going to be working on this again, and uh, this time we need to redo the bit of um, the big tree part and once that is done we can then you know remove the trunk part and then just only have the uh, uh, only have the leaves of it and then yeah we fit technically fix the whole damn drawing because then we can actually add it the coloration on it without ruining the line art <laughs> so no further ado uh, let's get started on this bad boy cheese it's a it's a lot of progress, that's for sure. Like so. And oh, come on. Don't don't fail me, please. Thank you. So yeah, um getting all of this to work is the major problem here. But after that, it would be fine. It's just that, you know, all of this isn't actually quite hard to do. And I really like how far we are already at this. It's just that, you know, the, the bloody M tree is so big. That, uh, you know, we overlooked some mistakes. And those mistakes will be not be able to be... Re they might be reoccurring, but... At least we now know how to fix them properly without, without any further danger to the thing that we have. Also today I actually went to the barber so uh, there is a bit of a hair issue going on so that's where that's why I'm actually wearing my um I went outside today and I actually still wear the same thing because of the uh, you know hair. <laughs> I don't want to change until uh, going to bed honestly. I don't want to have all that hair being stuck on everything. So yeah, we're gonna be making sure that we don't spill all the hair, or we're making sure that we're not touching the hair today. Or my hat, which should not be that problematic. Well, at least, you know, not be able to be doing that much, but it's still a thing that ha can happen. But yeah, the, uh, amount, of the amount of drawing I did uh, today was actually quite a lot. Honestly, I actually have been working on the facial expressions, which went pretty well. I like uh, how they went. Most of it was actually quite uh, easy and understandable. It was just, you know, a lot of work. But uh, I like it. So, um, what am I going to do today? Well, today I am going to make sure that I'm doing the things right that I want to do. 
which one of those things is actually just you know moving getting all the stuff done getting this bit right there drawn in but we need to keep remembering that we're drawing tiny bits so we should definitely add some leeway between some parts because not everything can be the same like lines because that would create a boring aspect and we don't want that so a little bit of variety is always good or at least welcome mm, that would be fine right yeah that would be that would be decent especially if we add this bit like this that would be making it a little bit more woody and then that would be the final bit to be done i mean most of this most of my drawing actually already is done we just need to do some little bit of rework oh well it can happen you know we're we're getting close we're now at the point where we need to go for the background so therefore you know once the background is done technically the drawing is done just we need to add some shader layers and some uh, particle effects to it and then the whole damn thing will be boom, all the way to the moon so uh yeah it's quite hard to understand that you know to get one thing right you have to do many things wrong and that is uh it's always a uh, thing that i always underestimate myself into like oh i can do this and then i can do that and then realize that ah man I should not have done this, or, uh, yeah, I could do this, but it's not good for me. <laughs> yep. I also don't like when uh, things, when plans change, you know, when, you, when you're trying to do your very best upon doing something, and then you realize that while you're doing it, things might go a little bit out of hand. And as you can see, we're drawing on the uh, parts that we have been leaving behind here. The tree will be eventually, you know, being drawn in. It's just that, you know, we have this bit right here that we need to do. So I'm going to close this one off to see where we're at. I'm going to close this one off to make not sure that we're not getting confused about everything here. Because we want, we want full focus on the... Uh, drawing we don't want to have any miss uh looks into it all right so now we can look at this and then you know we can get that to there. There you go. Because we don't want to have all these uh, lines to be correctly connected, because otherwise we're going to have no variety in the drawing, which can lead to major issues while, you know, doing the thing itself. Which uh, is what I'm aiming to do. Also, I must say, though, I'm very happy upon what I'm doing right now. Because... <sighs> I was actually looking not forward to this because you know it's a big it's a bit of work and I'm not a very good worker. <laughs> I just admitted that I'm not a very good worker, which is actually quite hilarious because I'm actually quite devoted to what I'm normally doing. The main issue is that you know today it has been raining all day long and I'm a little bit cranky. Eh, not cranky, more like disappointed. Honestly, you know, it, it has been such a good, it has been such a rainy day, it's like, when can I go outside and do something else? Because um, I have been working on my drawing, which went out, went out great, but 
I couldn't continue working on the drawing because, you know, rain. Well, I could technically work on the drawing, but that would cause me to lose focus. The main issue is that I want to clean my head before I do anything else, because, you know, I'm bi too busy otherwise uh, looking at the same picture again, because, you know, I am looking at the same picture a lot. That is the main problem with most of the things, anyway. Um, this is why keeping distance from your work sometimes is a very good idea, because it will give you more in uh, it will give you more insight upon what you're doing. It is uh, essential to make sure that you're not uh, falling behind or lacking behind what you're trying to do. For instance, if I knew that you know this drawing would turn out like this, I would have known then that like ah yes this is probably going to be taking me like a year to finish if i would record it if i would not have recorded it it would have been done quite faster the main issue is then you know i would not have recorded it and therefore i would not have learned more than i did before because that's how learning works i believe and this is what i like about and this is what i like about this tree it's always so nice to know that, you know, you're trying to do your very best upon drawing the tree and then, you know, suddenly, boom, baby. Everything you try to do broke apart. I mean, it did, but it could not have been broken apart that quickly, but it did. So, yeah. Working on this drawing, getting, getting the drawing done, you know, getting some issues here and there into it. It, it 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 gives some kind of feeling to it you know i really like how all of this all of this big big effort on you know r getting all the things correctly done makes it very hard to do but uh, it's a very nice thing to see So now if we add this to back to it, we can now see what we're what we're dealing with. So we're dealing with uh, probably the last bit. Uh let's see. No, oh, there it is. So now we can just casually Remove the bits that we don't want. So first things first, we're gonna remove. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do it like this. That's a good idea. So we're gonna remove the drawing bit that we have leaving behind. I know that this might sound a little bit counterproductive, but it will all add up later. So the only thing we're gonna leave behind is the uh, the 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 tree the leaf part because well you know we can still use that later on because if we do that we actually fix a lot of issues oh, looks like I need to do some silencing here so I can see what I have been erasing that's a good idea and once we're at the part that we need to erase casually we're gonna do this very kindly. Can't have this to be, you know, erased and then situated. That might cause me to lose a lot of progress because I don't want to lose this part of the leaf system. All right, now we're gonna zoom in. Boop, 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 and hands. And now we're gonna remove certain bits, so I want to actually go for like seven, maybe? Yeah, seven would be fine. So the idea is that we're removing the the brown bits from the drawing, and then, you know, we're adding that back. And then we're going to add that part back in by using the uh, using the bits that we have been leaving behind.
Almost. And now this would work. Uh, we're still missing some bits. We're still missing some bits here. We need to fix this part right here as well. Well, it's nothing better to do anyway. So we're doing this casually. We're not going to be touching a lot. We're just only touching the parts that we need to touch. Because the rest is still tree, so therefore, you know, we, we need this. Otherwise, we need to do it a lot. Otherwise, we need to do a lot of do-overs. Which I rather don't want to do. Because that will take a long time. And I do want to be a little bit progressive on this one. Well, at least you're not, not lose progressiveness. The, 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 the progress on the drawing. That, that's the word I'm looking for. Looks like I do need to do some rework. Well, uh, let's see. I need to do some rework on... Yeah, this part right here doesn't make any sense. Alright. Yes, so we're going to do this. There you go. That part is fixed, and this part needs to be fixed as well. Now that it's fixed, and now we're going to add some color to it, and I'm going to fuse that together again. That's the idea. Now wait, we need to move this down below. Oh, look at that, that's a beautiful fix. I like it. Oh, I like it. Uh, let's see, where is the rest of it? Here it is. Very well. And we're going to keep it like this. Alright. So, how do we do this? Well, we're going to use... Uh, we're going to fuse... Um, these three together. So, we're going to move... Uh, merge with the layer below. And then merge with the layer below. Good enough. Now that looks a little bit more better. It doesn't look like edited anymore. Good. That will do. Alright. I'm going to save this. Now we do need to add the uh, color back in because, well, you know, color... Mm. 
here, right? And now we're gonna do some room moving. And then we can start working on the uh, bits that we have been left behind. Because, you know, that's what we did. We left some bits behind that we still need to fix. But first we do need to add the lines to it and then we can add the parts to it. I mean, really, if um, if I had to say that this is a very nice looking drawing, I would say yes. Since that it's already getting far, far better than before, which is a decent, decent, decent warm welcome. Of course, you know, we cannot always assume that things go good, because, you know, you always need to be prepared for the worst, especially with drawings, because uh, some things go really well sometimes. Especially when you don't know what you're doing, which eh, happens a lot. <laughs> well, you know, I had a goal, and then, you know, that's where that's where the end of my structure went. With this drawing right now, I'm actually quite happy upon the structure I went with, and uh, I'm very happy that I draw the Malfoc already knowing that this is already a drawing and now having the background being drawn is uh, gonna be even making things more better now the only thing i now need to do is actually draw the line so i'm gonna go back to big boy here and uh, we're gonna be adding it with the lines uh lines 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 is right over here i put the lines right yeah yeah all right, lines. Show me the lines. I do need them, so therefore, you know, we need to draw them. So, what what is the best thing about this uh, lines? Well, the good thing about these lines is that they are quite nice. They draw them, and I'm very happy upon that I'm actually trying to do my very best here. I might not be able to compete to all, I can might not be able to compete every single time I do these things, but uh, I'm very happy upon how far I'm already getting it to be done. You see, if I would not be able to do it properly, then you know all of this would have been lost, and a lost cause is never a good cause anyway. Which is a real shame, really. Also, making sure that I have more lines here and there, it's giving me a bit more leeway. Especially on the tree, because now it's only like, you know, oh no, it's just general lighting. And I like, I don't like that. There you go. Is that a better drawing length? No, nah, not really, but... It's not a real difference, really, which is good. So the more we do here, the better it gets, and the more we do, the more light and uh, the more the effects on the lines of the tree work around 
And the more lines the wood tree is working around, the better it gets later on. So therefore, you know, the drawing will be eventually, you know, better off. Which is nice. Thirty minutes already. Sweet. I mean, did did come on. Uh, let's see. The more time I do this, the better it gets, anyway. So, probably after I'm finishing this one, and you know the other one. I will probably uh, get some lighting in there, and then, you know, we're gonna stop, because, well, you know, we need to cut out the tree into different lines, so then we're gonna be focusing on getting more lines in, because, you know, that's important. So, you know, that's when we're gonna go stopping, so once we reach a crucial point, like, you know, going back downwards, like, right here. So if we, once we fix this, we're gonna go back down here. And this is the part that we're gonna do next. Uh, and this is the part that we want to do tomorrow. Because if we do it tomorrow, yeah, oh, well, you know, not tomorrow. No, 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 no. Tomorrow I have things to do. But uh, next, uh, next week we can try to do this. You know, this bit, split into multiple parts, and then once that is done, once that is downwards done, you know, we can then go up again. Oh, well, then we can uh, finally take this and say, like, all right, we did the second tree. What are we going to do now? Um, the idea probably is going to be another tr drawing another tree, and then another tree, and then another tree. Or I want to draw first the grass and see how that is going to be happening. Because then I can make the uh, cut in from, you know, boom, that angle point. This angle point. This one right here. But that's all, you know, not yet, that's all not yet not uh, reliable to do because, you know, we still are, need to do some uh, of the drawing. But the good news is that we're actually quite getting well ahead of itself, so it's all good. Looks, I got my thing that I wanted. Which is lovely. So yeah. Getting things done, you know, it, it's it's a quite long process. But eventually, you know, it's it all will pay out. It all will pay. Just just we need to just take some time, take a deep breath, know where to aim, know where to look. And then, you know, once we're done, once we're reaching the, those parts, you know, we can then, you know, get ourselves to the point where we want to be in the first place. This will give us uh, the inability to figure out where to go anyway. Um... As I said before, there's nothing bad about this, honestly. Maybe some bits are a little bit more hard to do than the other ones, but I really like how this tree part is turning out to be. A little bit more brittle than before. Which is always nice. Nothing bad with brittleness. And then once we add the shading to it, it will be looking even better, so... Eh. All right.
All right, that is all I need. Knew it. Fucking knew it. Alright, it's time to fix that bad boy up. So the main issue here is that we're now fixing the bits that we have been leaving behind. This will give us a, a far better tool later on. I mean, really, it's it's just, you know, fixing the bits. Bits and knocks and crannies, that's not a big deal, really. Now I need to get this. Alright, now get this up and running. You can see a lot of this tree is just, you know, mung buggling lines, followed up by other lines, and then, you know, eventually, you know, turning into a tree part, which is not bad, honestly. It's, uh, it's just, you know, a different way of doing things, probably. Can we just, you know, grab the one below the tree and, you know, use that maybe? I think that will fix it. Oh, it is the same drawing. It's the same color. All right, good. All right. Uh, now we can add the uh, lighting to it. Or darkening and lighting to it. And now we can say, like, oh, well, you know, we want this lighting effect to it as well. So we're going to do it on this side as well. So we're going to do it. Pick up the thing. Put it on 50. Darker. Now the idea is that we're going to be making sure that this actually is visible, but not fully visible. So I'm going to go for a soft eraser. 55% uh, is good enough. We did it on the wrong layer, didn't we? Oh yeah, we did it on the wrong layer. God damn it. Well. 
rest then, I see. So if we now erase some bits here and there, the line art will be back, right? Yes. And that is what exactly what we had to do there as well. Mm. I hate this. I hate this when I make this mistake. Oh my god. Mm. Well, you know, this is why we have a bloody damn repeat. Lovely. I ruined almost 20 minutes of progress by just, you know, doing it on the wrong layer. Well, I did the right layer, but then after that I did the wrong layer with the other part. Jeez Louise. I should have known, I should have known, I should have known. Well, luckily for me, I have the Erasal 2 2000, so it should not be that problematic. Jeez. <sighs> and now we can add the stuff back in. Took way too long. Uh, Alright. Back again at the drawing board, people. Let's go. I mean, I don't mind doing it again and again and again, but... It's a little bit of a problematic issue. Now I'm trying to do my very best here to just, you know, add the things in that I want. Did I use the wrong color for this? Ah, all right. I knew something was off. All right, now we can do this and then there. Good. This time I must not forget to switch to the other layer if I want to do the shading on the tree. Let's 
Luckily, you know, we always can fix things later on, so that's that's all good. The only downside of having a redo button that only can do it ten times, uh, I need to repeat myself to loop. Oh well, you know, I need to realize that, yeah, ten times is not a lot. So I should definitely make sure that I don't make too much mistakes at the same time. Or, you know, doing ten strokes in one go, which is normally the case. But we're getting close, so that's good. <laughs> and we're doing this twice is uh, not a problem, it's just, you know, an annoyance, <laughs> honestly. Uh, well, you know, it happens. I'm not a very good guy when it comes to these things. Normally I do things like, uh, you know... Um, Uh, all right. No, that's not a problem, really, isn't it? No, it's not a problem if I put shadings there. That's not the biggest issue in the world, luckily. Alright, now we're switching back to that. And now we're going to go to dark. Dark color. And then we're going to go to Mr. Uh, Shadiness. And then we're going to add some dark colors right here. And some dark colors right there. Now we can add some dark colors right over here. Why? Why, 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 why? Because it's locked. Of course it is locked. Cheese, of course it's locked. All right, fine. Now we can put dark colors here. Nope. Now we can. Good. Also need to do it right here as well. And then once we have that, we also need to have like a light show right here. And once we do that, we then need to make sure that this is all. Uh, and then we need to have the soft, uh, soft eraser here. At around 65, 60 percent, I believe. Mm. 
Now we need to have to solve the eraser here and then remove slowly the bits of problems. Now I need to raise it here a bit. Oopie doo 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 doo. -doo. Little uh, yeah, a little bit of leeway. A little bit of leeway here as well, and a little bit of leeway here as well, and then remove the dark essence that is guiding the souls. Yeah, all right. Now I need to remove this entirely, which didn't happen because I'm using the soft eraser. So we're going to do it with a hard eraser then instead. Look right here as well. Hmm. Yeah, it is in that layer. All right. We'll find out where that dot comes from. That doesn't come from there. All right. I'm fine with that. So now we can activate this again, this again, and this again. <coughs> Jakes. Uh, Jesus. All right. Well, the good news is we actually did it. So well done, me. So that looks almost the same, but different. Which is good. Which is good. All right. Thank God. Thank God I fixed it. I fixed the tree. Ah, uh, yes. All right. So now we can start moving downwards. So Monday I will start with the uh, bits because Friday technically I should have worked, but no, uh, Friday I'm actually busy doing something else that is caused, you know. I'm trying to finish the uh, fa uh, facial and then, you know, record it as well. So that's what I'm going to be doing Friday. Um, So... Uh, I hope you all have enjoyed for today. Um, thanks all for watching. And uh, I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I want to wish you all a lovely day. And uh, bye!